Hello, today we're going to be showing you how to upload your course into Thinkific. So once you get logged in, you'll access your dashboard here. It'll show you your accounts, your enrollments, your students. Your course is going to be under Manage Learning Content. Today we'll be showing you how to upload your course content into the course. So after you click on Learning Content, click on your courses. And then you'll find your courses in here, the ones that are published or the ones that are not published. So this one right here needs to be filled out. This is the steps. Um, it's as a draft to fill out this course. So click on the course you want to edit and it'll pull up the editing screen. And just so you know, there's three sections here that you can fill out, but you can preview it so you can see your progress as you're going. So let's take a look at what this looks like before we start editing. Preview the course. And you're going to see that you can start right here at the top. You can provide instructions on how to use the template. So this is always good to tell the customer after they join your course what to expect, um, how to navigate, continue hitting the buttons to get through the course. You can also lay out um, a timeline based on what pages and sections you have in your course. When they hit complete and continue, They'll go to the first part of your course here where you're going to have your texts and videos and all the different lessons that you have in your course. You can also add surveys and questionnaires and get started sections to get them to engage in the course. So what this did was open up a new tab. So you can go ahead and exit out of this tab to go back to the editor. So you're going to see the titles here instructions for the course, you'll click on this section here to add your instructions. So just like you saw in the preview, how to use the course, give them everything um, that you want them to know about getting through the course, how it's going to benefit them, and you can even write down the bullet points of the different sections of the course so they know what to expect. If you need to add a video here, you can add an image or video by inserting one of these text editors. Just make sure you click where you want to put them. So if you want a video to go here, make sure your mouse is here and you can click video to insert a video from your computer. You can also do it by YouTube URL by clicking this. Now this is the section to set up for the course. This will be your next section in the course. Now if you don't want to have a video here, you can do add a lesson and it's going to give you multiple choices to add. So let's say you want a text with the description or all the information for lesson number one first, and then you want the video to come next, you simply click on text. You'll see the text is here. So we'll call this lesson number one. Keep it as a draft so nobody can see it. Information here, and we'll save. So now we have lesson number one, but we wanna make it go towards the top. So we'll grab these dots pull them up to the top, and now you have lesson one. Now to make your video about lesson one, you just click on the video, and you'll see where you can select the files for your video here. Let's call this lesson number one video, and save. And just remember, these are all set to draft. When you're all finished, you can go through and make these all published so everyone can see them. So let's say we want to add lesson number two as a text, add lesson, text, name it lesson, the title of this lesson, or information, information, save, and same thing, we can drag it up above, and then use the next video to be lesson number two, video. These do not have to be separated, you can include them all in one, so what we can do is add a lesson, and we can use the text, and we'll call this lesson number three plus video. So now you have information plus video here. And this is where you can insert your video. Just like that and the video will show up. And save. Let's move this up one more. And now this one we can have survey questions. All right, let's call them lesson questions. This is optional. You don't have to do this. 
Um, if you don't have any questions for them, don't worry about it. But these, this is where you'll edit the questions. Let me save it first. And then we'll go into question number one. And it shows you that you have different options for your questions. So this is a free text. You can see it's giving them the question and then they would fill in the blank. There's also a scale, so you can see how experienced you feel in this course subject manner. And they could say one, two, three, four, basically a one through 10 scale that they can rate. And then the third one is just gonna be another free text where it's an open question. Now you can choose multiple things. You can do a one answer, one or more answers, like a multiple choice. You could have the ratings, the scale. Um, so one or more answers would be more be like a multiple choice and the rating and scales where you can make it a one through 10. Now, if you don't want this lesson in these questions, just go make sure you're clicked on it, click on the three dots and just delete this. So if you go into this next section here, let's get started. We can just delete all of this. So I've closed this tab. You can open it and close it. I've closed it because we just wanna delete this this whole section to keep it simple for you. We'll delete the chapter. So let's rename this. If you wanna rename this tab, this would be welcome to the course tab. This is, you could call this lesson one through three, save. And this next one we could say lessons three through five, save. And same thing, you can have the text, and videos, and surveys. Now in the text section, you can go to your Google Doc or wherever your text already is, and you can just go ahead and paste it in here. Just use these sections up here to format it nicely. Usually, usually when somebody's looking at a course, big bold usually looks good, so you could change the font um, for the titles to make the titles big and bold so it catches their eye. And then you'll hit save. Now you can go and preview this at any time. So let me preview it. It opens in a new tab. So you still have your dashboard open here. And then you can go to your preview. And the same thing, you can go here and take a look at your text, your videos, and just make sure everything looks good. This is what the customer will see. And this is what you'll see. Please let us know if you have any questions about this. And especially when you're all done in importing the course, let us know, we'll go through it and give you any tips or the thumbs up that it's ready to go live. Thank you.